All right, YouTube, we're going to talk about a big topic today. Uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, click the bell notification, and also, I got Javi Coffee 15% off, so click that link below. Um, so, we're going to talk about celebrities. Uh, not celebrities in particular, but we're going to talk about celebrity diets and celebrity workouts. Should you follow them? Why and why not? Or what are the pros and what are the cons? All right, I'm gonna take y'all through one of my light leg days as I'm doing this because I'm actually recording it in my car while I'm doing this instead of doing a voiceover later because I don't want to forget any of the things that I want to say. All right, what brought me to this topic? I was watching a video of um, a smaller YouTuber who was trying to lose weight and no disrespect, um, but she was doing the JLo diet, you know, the Jennifer Lopez diet. Um, I forget what it was. No sugar for 10 days. No this. It was whatever it was. A lot of times when people do these diets, they're doing them as finishers. They're already in great shape. J-Lo, whoever, they're already in great shape. There's a handful of actors who actually get it in in the gym. You know, J-Lo, um, John Cena, um, The Rock, just to name a few. Old girl from Columbiana. Um, just to name a few, you know what I'm saying? There's actual people who actually get it in. But most, for the most part, a lot of these movie uh, celebrities that we look up to for their physiques or whatever, they're just getting ready for a role. They don't actually, most of them don't actually live the lifestyle. They go right back to normal after the video. So they go on crash diets. So if you're trying to live a lifestyle of fitness, don't do a crash diet style thing. You know, stop trying to lose 20 pounds in a week. Stop trying to lose all your weight in a month. Stop trying to think overweight, overnight things are the thing to do. You know, bodybuilders do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Bodybuilders do the same thing at the end of the diet. Like I said, it's a finisher. You know, a lot of guys that don't do keto at all just despise it. And then they'll do keto at the end of a diet because they know it's going to make them lose water weight and make them look crispier and more dried out on stage and make them look a little more shredded, right? So those are finishers. If you got a lot of weight to lose, you do not want to do finishers. That's like playing chess and you're using up all your your big pieces and, and, and just to do power moves. You're going to lose. You're going to lose, all right? So this is a marathon, not a race, all right? You start off fast, you'll be wheezing in the back. No, I don't think you should do a celebrity diet, all right? Don't, and if you do, all right, okay, what I was talking about last year. Uh, last year, I was talking about the uh, Lori Harvey uh, diet, the 1,500-calorie diet. Um, that's okay if you're already eating only slightly above 1,500 calories in the first place. Now, one thing about calories, for people who don't count calories, don't guess your calories, all right? Don't guess your calories. Accurately find out how many calories you're already eating. And then go slightly under that. Because if you go straight to 1,500, you're going to be starving. You're going to be starving. And that's why people don't stick to their diets. The number one thing that hurts diets is hunger. Yes, you can have the greatest willpower in the world. You can tough through it. You can, you know, go through it so hard it makes you cry. Your diet should not make you cry. Your diet should not be that hard. Dieting should not be hard. The way I teach, dieting should not be hard at all. Slow and steady wins the race, all right? Because if you lose too much weight in the first place, at first, you might celebrate because you lost 20 pounds really fast. Um, little do a lot of people know is you're going to lose body water weight first before you start losing body fat. Your glycogen stores in your liver and your muscles is going to deplenish before you start to lose body fat. All right. Um, so with that being said, a lot of people do keto for insulin to keep their insulin low. Yes. Whether your insulin is low or high, any food that you're going to eat is going to spike your insulin. All right. Some foods spike your insulin way more than others. Like rice is going to spike your insulin way more than sardines. Of course. You know what I'm saying? But everything spikes your insulin. And 
the thing is, it's like it's minute. The little little tricks that people do is minute. It's like just count your calories, all right? Count your calories. Stop trying to find the tricks. Stop trying to find what somebody else who's already fit is doing. If you're a beginner, they've been doing this for years. You don't need to be doing what somebody been doing if they've been doing it for years. They're 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 putting on finishing touches. You know? They're touching up as as okay, how could I explain it? It's like a, a, a car with no, that's not a good that's not a good analogy. I was about to say a car with gas and then you topping it off, but that's filling up. We're talking about losing weight, so that's like dang it. <laughs> that's like something that's empty, right? Dang. I don't know. I usually kind of have good analogies. I'm going to leave this in there. I don't care. Y'all know my analogies. Watch any of my other videos. But, no, you should not do a celebrity diet, man. Or a celebrity workout. They're doing crash dieting. They're doing the hardest workouts they could possibly do so they can get... They got a deadline. If they had to... If Will Smith was to do... uh, God dang... What's that movie he had? Hancock? If, he had, if Hancock 2 came out for some reason, Right? He had to get back in shape. So Will Smith will have to do a crash diet. You're just living your life. Your lifestyle. You don't have to do a crash diet. You don't got no deadline. Unless you have a deadline. You don't got to do a crash diet or the hardest hit cardios or any of that. If you're if you're inactive right now, all you got to do is get active. You don't have to get super active. Especially when it comes to lifting weights. When it comes to lifting weights, if you start off just going as hard as you can, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. I got plenty of videos of me restarting. I got plenty. My deadlifts, especially lately, my deadlift ain't nowhere near where it used to be. Why? Because I ain't been doing deadlifts like that. So I started doing deadlifts again. I'm like, you know what? I want my deadlift back. You know? I'm almost 40 years old now. My best deadlift was when I was like 28. No, no. When did I start lifting? Early 30s. Like 32, 33 was my best deadlifts. My best bench press was probably at 35. And my best squat was probably somewhere in between then. I'm 39 right now. You see what I'm saying? Lifts smarter, not harder. And after you eased into it or you could go hard go hard same thing with dieting don't go from eating whatever you want to eating it ain't all or none i got a video called all or none diet right what i was talking about this exactly the same thing um yo slightly cut your calories it's like it's like being on a flight of stairs you on a flight of stairs. You're going to just jump all the way down the stairs to try to get downstairs faster? That's exactly what you're doing. No, take step by step. When you get to the bottom of the stairs, you're not injured. You're not out of breath. You're not... No, just take step. And you actually get there. Right? The show The Biggest Losers, there's plenty of documentaries of those people gaining all their weight back because they crash dieted. Everybody's trying to crash diet nowadays. Everybody's trying to crash diet. Stop crash dieting. Stop panicking. Calm down. For, before you start, calm down. Calm all the way down before you start dieting or exercising. Think about it. Think about the pros and the cons on your plan. All right? If I'm going to go in the gym and I'm going to go in there and bench press, and this is my first time bench pressing, I see somebody in there bench pressing 300 and it impressed me. I'm like, wow, I wonder if I can do that. Should I go under there and try to do that? No. That is no. That No, you should not. <laughs> you know, somebody's ripped and shredded, and I used to weigh 275. Let's say I was 275 again, right? And I see somebody ripped and shredded, at 180 pounds, right? And I'm like, wow. And I asked him how many calories he's eating. Let's say he says he's eating 2,600 calories a day. And I'm 
275 and I'm eating 6,000 calories a day. Should I go from 6,000 calories a day to 2,600 calories a day? No. That means I'm cutting out what? 500 and 5,400, 5,400 calories per day that my body will be missing? Yes, that's a healthier calorie amount for me to be at, but I need to gradually get there. If I'm at 6,000, I can probably do 5,500, then 5,300, then 4,900, then 4,700, then whatever, you know, till I gradually, week after week, month after month, get there. It might take a whole year for me to get there that way. But I got there with energy. I got there being able to work out. I got there without being crying and having to start over, binging, having to give up. See what I'm saying? Please, I hope this hitting home for somebody. Please, I hope this hitting home for somebody. Because a lot of times when people give up on their diet because of what? Hunger and cravings. All right? How do you, okay, that, that, what I just said, explain how you control the hunger part, right? Gradually cut your calories. Cravings, it's the same, but it's different. Cravings, all right, cravings are what foods do you like? You know, the majority of people who are not on the diet, ah, God damn. the majority of people who are not on a diet only eat for taste, all right? If the food is not absolutely delicious, they're not eating it, all right? The majority of people only eat for taste, all right? So, with that being said, for you to go to these bland foods, um, chicken, broccoli, and rice, let's say you're doing keto, so you might not have the rice, or you're doing whatever diet you're doing, for you to go to whatever diet it is that you think is gonna make you lose weight, let me tell you something before I get into it. Not, no food makes you lose weight. There's no food that makes you lose weight. Yes, different foods have different properties, different thermal, uh, thermogenic um, properties, different this and different that, slower digested, faster digested, um, protein, um, carbs, protein sparing effect, uh, whatever, nuco, um, all that. So... You know, your glucose effect, everything. I mean, everything has different things. But guess what? As a beginner, it those things are not what you need to be focusing on. That's more advanced. All right? So what I'm trying to say is, as a beginner, you, you need to be focusing on eating foods that's going to fill you up and at least taste okay. All right, I wouldn't cut out all of my my favorite foods. All right, y'all see how I eat. Anybody that watch any of my videos, y'all see how I eat. I eat dirty and clean. I just count my calories. All right, and I can stick to that because I'm not trade. I'm what's my favorite? Um, uh, my favorite junk snack is what peanut butter and jelly sandwich or candy bars or you know fast food. I eat burgers and fries. None of those things are cut out of my diet. None of them. Just moderation. And the word moderation isn't just this magical past that, okay, if I say the word moderation, I can have whatever I want, but I'm saying moderation. A lot of people do that. Also, like I was, I was about to say, um, a lot of people, they will think that certain foods make you lose weight, so they eat whatever they want to eat, and then they eat, they add those foods to it. I'm going to make a whole other video about that. Um, like, for instance, let's say somebody eats fast food and burgers and fries and candy bars and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, those add up really fast, right? High-calorie drinks, things like that. And then they'd be like, well, but I'm going to have some vegetables and I'm going to have this and that a third. You just mess your diet up even worse. Even though you just ate added clean foods in, you added it to what let's say you was eating five thousand most people are eating five thousand calories a day. I don't care what nobody say. I got videos proving it. But uh let's say you was eating four thousand calories a day, right? 
and you still ate the same exact foods, but you added in um, a few of these other foods, the cleaner foods. Like, let's say you added another 800 calories worth of cleaner foods. You got to still remember, you still added 800 calories. So instead of 4,000, you're at 4,800 now. You see what I'm saying? Adding in clean foods does not make you lose weight. All right? Honestly, there's more people out there losing weight off straight dirty food but cutting in calories than there are people that, you know what I'm saying, that take that route. So that's what I'm saying, man. I mean, you go to, you know, following this protocol to the T of somebody who's been doing something for years, it's going to be way more too extreme for you, for one. And if you do lose 20 pounds, you're going to probably, I'm telling you, I'm speaking from the people that I know who I personally see do this in real life. If they lose 20, they usually gain 40. So, let's say they was 260 pounds. If they lost 20 pounds, that means they're 240 pounds now. Now they gained 40. Now they're 280 pounds. So, they're 20 pounds above where they started. I'm telling you, fitness is just simple math. It's just simple math. You just got to know what to measure. And you got to remember... Whatever isn't measured cannot be managed, all right? You got to remember that. So, click the link below. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Holler back at your boy. Go through my videos, all right? Go through my videos. Find something. Go through my videos. Find something you personally need, all right? I got 3,000 videos. There is almost no way that I don't got what you need specifically. All right? Type in Repetime Fitness and type in what you need. Repetime Fitness calories. Repetime Fitness weight loss. Repetime Fitness how to do this. Repetime Fitness workouts. Repetime Fitness meals. Repetime Fitness grocery shopping so I can break down to you everything I eat and why. 